This is the best lighting. What's up guys? So we did a DNA test for the pups and we're gonna check that out. Um, shout out Beebs. Beebs sent us these DNA kits for a our dog a long time ago. And because of the pandemic, they kept emailing like, it's gonna be six more weeks. Nah, nah, nah. We finally got the results. Um, made a little special, little delicious snack for them to celebrate. And yeah, we got a few things to do first, but are you guys ready to find out your DNA? They just know. Uh, what? They know they're gonna be involved in this one. Couch Mama sent these cute little outfit things to put on them, so we got little celebratory things to put on. It's gonna be fun. But first, Brad's gonna be, we're still cleaning out the Florida room from uh, the whole lattice situation. Um, so he's gonna be cutting up a bunch of stuff to put in the dump. Oh, there's a paint can here. Let's go the other way. Probably should get some safety glasses. Yeah, and some gloves. Hopefully the results came back clean because when I was testing out, like they have you do like a little swab, kind of like a COVID test, where they like, where you swab the back of the mouth and you have to do it back and forth for so long. Well, I guess, I guess the other one is in your nose, but um, Nala was not having it. She was mad. She was like, she was fighting me and she was not interested. Tank on the other hand, just sat there and he was just like, mm, okay, like he was chilling. So hopefully the results came back clean and they didn't send like a, oh, we need you to take the test again. Where should we mail it to? Because if they did, that's gonna be really annoying. That'd be another six weeks, but um, yeah, hopefully it's detailed. They're supposed to have like a health test and a um, DNA test. And so like when we took our DNA test, we didn't do all the extra like health stuff, but we probably should have. All right, we got to get all this into the trash can to avoid a trip to the dump because going to the dump is a good way to get a nail in your tire and I'm only going if I have to. Right, so that takes care of those. Dang, that's the table we got from the storage unit during the pandemic that we were telling you about. So nobody wanted the table or the chairs. And this, do I even need the saw? Or can I just break this? I thought those were made better than that. No wonder nobody wanted them. Oh, it's got nails and stuff in the bottom. I don't want to step on it. All right, so you gotta have a good pair of boots. <laughs> He's having fun. I'm just over here in the truck bed. This is his first truck. The park is lit today. What if they, what if in those couch, what if in those chair cushions, they like hid some like money or some jewelry or something, you know? I wish. They came from storage units, so I feel like there's a potential that there's like, something exciting in there. When you watch those storage unit shows, they're always like finding little random hidden stuff, surprise stuff. But honestly, I don't think that's real. Like I was like, oh, I would be like storage wars, you know, get a unit, it, you pay a certain amount, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, and it ends up being worth $50,000. But I think it's mostly just junk in those storage units. Oh, smart. I thought you were going to have to pick up each one by hand. Heck no. Look at all those leaves. That must have came from this tree. Mm-hmm. We have a dustpan out here? I don't think so. No. Although, you see that little miniature broom? There should be a blue dustpan by that miniature broom. Well, this can go right to the side of the houses. I don't want to roll over that stuff with my tire, but I don't park this far back ever, so. That can go back into nature. Back where it came from. All right, all done. All right. The next step in here, we need to find a place to put this soft wash machine or sell it. Put Lexi's door panel back on. Get rid of the scooter. Well, that scooter, it does have a title and everything, and I fixed it up to where it ran, but I mean, it's totally just Jimmy rigged up. It's not like really nice. Like, come look at it. 
You know what I mean? It was just pla busted plastic, so I spray painted them. I mean, I could probably just take this right off. Everything's just kind of sitting together. <laughs> the battery's too big, it doesn't really fit. And the gas tank is super broken. It was just a project one summer, it was a free scooter, so I just fixed it up. You see how the dash looks? It's just literally just stuff just hanging here. But I did, I did get it to turn on and to run, and we drove, we actually drove it to Publix. And we actually use it, and it does work, but I'm sure the carve is clogged by now and all that kind of stuff. So, um, I don't know, selling that might be difficult. Maybe give it away or something. We have the title, but it's a digital title. And to get a digital title printed, it's $85. So, like, do I want to get that printed no. to give it away? No, I don't. I don't really just want to junk it because I don't want to pay yeah. for the title. We should have got a paper title, but it is what it is. But yeah, that's what we need to do, get this room cleaned out. And then rip this yeah. carpet over. That carpet is oh, disgusting. Oh, the carpet's disgusting. There's like whole cities of bugs that I've never seen before. Entire rat turds living underneath and stuff. it. Cockroach yeah. turds. So we need to get that carpet it up. It smells really moldy too. It smells really bad. And then find a place for all this stuff. A lot of that stuff is good. That's like brand new spray paint, things like that. Good wire loom, extension cord, and the, and the ashtray. But yeah, we gotta find a place for all this stuff, but they yeah. haven't given us a notice for having all this junk, so there's no rush. And people still have lattice, so. Yes. So it all fit. Um, we have space for one more trash bag, which is about all we're gonna need before the next trash day. So that worked out perfectly. We don't have to go to the dump and risk getting a nail in the tire, which I do not wanna deal with. Well, I'm making an experiment, guys. I'm doing like, okay, see this peanut butter? Oh, see this peanut butter? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna freeze it. This is an ice tray I got from Amazon. I'm gonna freeze it and make frozen peanut butter cubes, and hopefully, the pups will be able to eat those and like they'll be able to lick on them like ice cream or something. I don't know. We'll see if it works. <laughs> I'm predicting that's gonna be a disaster. You think so? Why? Oh, yeah. I think it'll work fine. I mean, they don't even like peanut butter that much. I have to do it with frozen peanut butter. Yeah, right. And then they'll just lick at it, and then they'll warm it with their tongue, and it'll be like melted. It'll be like portion size. Uh, hopefully it works. Okay, we gotta put your little outfit really? on. Really? You're doing the yeah. most. Yeah. Oh, it's like your birthday tape. This is your rebirth day. You, you are get doing to, the most. You're gonna get to learn what you are and where you come from. Oh my gosh. Tank does speak English, so he actually will learn. So exciting. Okay, let's see. This is Nala's seat, and this is Tank's seat. Nala hates clothes. Okay, come here. Come here. Come up here to your seat. This is your seat. Good job. Okay, Nala. Here you go, girl. <laughs> she acts like her legs don't work whenever she's wearing clothes. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, come here, Nala. Come up here. Come here. Come, here. Come on, let's take it off. <laughs> she hates clothes. Come here. We can just put it on your chair now. Look, look, we'll put it on your seat. Okay, come here. Up here. You will come up here. Okay. Look at you, Tank. Look at you, Tank. Look at my butt. All right, so where, where are the results? Okay. All right. Here is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, one play for you. Wait, they can share. <laughs> they're they're sharing a seat. One play for you. Look, Nala, that's one for you. Come here. Can you get over there? Oh, up here, Nana. Up here. She's so confused. It's like a birthday. Okay, do you want to guess first? Hundred percent Basenji. That's that's my guess. I wouldn't know what else to guess. What's your guess? Okay, here, it's a breed game. It says, Siberian Husky for Nala, true or false? False. Okay, but Sinji. True. <laughs> oh, Nala has 77.5% but Sinji. That's it? Yeah. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. What? Only three quarters Three Basenji? quarters but Sinji, I knew it. Okay, English Springer Spaniel, true or false? I don't even know what that is. False. I don't know what that is. Rat Terrier. <gasps> she better not be no part oh, rat. No. Oh, hell no. True or false? False. Rat Terrier? True! Oh, <laughs> she's 22.5% Rat Terrier. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> that explains her spiky hair. Maybe. I've never even heard of that. What in the world? Uh, she's not even eating. She's just paying attention to the results. I'm sorry, I had a disappointment. Tank doesn't even care. You like? Okay, we still love you, though. 25% rat love terrier you. Now? We still love you, baby. You don't understand. Oh my gosh. Nala, 
How do you feel about being 25% rat terrier? You know yeah. how I feel. What how do you, you feel do? about that, Nala? I was wondering if you still love me. Uh-huh. Thank you, Fashion. Oh my gosh. Mixed breed. Mixed breed. That is crazy. 77.5% Basenji, 22.5% rat terrier. Okay. That is crazy. Let's go. Let's see what Tank says. Oh my gosh, he's 100% Basenji. What? Are they real siblings? What? It says wolfiness, 1.2%. In human years, he's 67 years old. 67? <gasps> I don't know. Oh He's a my god. 67. His breed results 100% Basenji. Dang. What? How is it? They're, they're supposed to be. <gasps> what if that's not true? They're from the same litter. What if it's not? They were the same size when true. we got them. They're both little bitty puppies. But what if they were like and six they, weeks apart? No. How does she come out 22.5% oh, right He's going to get Nala's food now. Dang. She but you see what he left? The peanut butter. They yeah. don't really like peanut butter that much. I can't believe this. If peanut butter is the only treat they have, they'll eat it, but they don't love it. How is he 100% Basenji? Their hair textures are very different. Very different. Like hers can be kind of soft and fluffy sometimes, and his is like purely spiky. He ate all her treats. Oh, she's eating it now. <laughs> she didn't want to miss it. Why was she so like, she was invested in the, in the results? Look, because I mean, she just found out she's a quarter rat. <laughs> Hey, she's a rat terrier. Shouldn't she be able to catch rats? You know what I'm saying? I mean, with a name like that, that dog has to be able to hunt rats or something. Dang, she's less... terriers, don't they get like hunting birds and things like that? Yeah, she's less than 1% wolfiness. I don't know what that means. No wonder they have that quiz. I was like, why do they have a quiz? They're going to be 100% Basenjis. Like, that's what they are, Basenjis. Oh my goodness, Tank demolished that peanut butter. Dang, see? You see? They like peanut butter! I knew it. Maybe they'll like it frozen now. Aren't you 100% Basenji, Nona? She said, well, apparently not. I don't know, it's a bunch of paragraphs about yeah. different Things stuff. Things in there break dancing. Oh. Uh -huh. This is what Tank does when he's happy. What, what are you doing? doing? Oh. He, he wants said, that thing off. Yeah, he said, my birthday's over. They hate they clothes. Well, he doesn't really mind, but he likes sweaters. That seems a little itchy, but oh she gosh. hates clothes. He loves a good sweater. Speak. Good job, Tanky. Can you do a long one? Now, now, speak. Speak, Nana. Wow. Oh, good job, Tinky. Nana. <laughs> Nana, can you speak? Nana. <laughs> Nana, speak. The DNA test was a gift from Biebs, but if you want to test your dog, the company sent us a link, like a referral, like a refer friend link, um, that will give you $50 off of your doggy DNA test, and the link is in the description, and this is not a sponsorship post, it's um, Biebs just sent us these as gifts, and then the company emailed us and said, here, if you refer a friend, um, they get 50 bucks off, and they'll give us an Amazon gift card, so a $10 Amazon gift card. So yeah. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Where to go? She told me, boy, you to go. Like I don't know.